We're back from the Thursday night's boyfriend. This is a big episode tonight. This will be two parts, as part one will be right now. Part two will be a little bit later in the night, or just say in the evening. But we have a stacked show lined up for all of you here today. Just one second before I start the episode. But yes, this is going to be a massive one. We have seven matches in part number one. And in part two, we're going to have six matches. And the reason why this is such a big episode is because of some qualifying matches. We'll talk about those when we get to them. But the main event of part one here is going to be a triple threat match. The KOPW Championship. as Dr. Death, Steve Williams will defend the KOPW Championship against both Jush and Thunder Liger and Grim Gory. Also tonight we have those qualifying matches like we talked about. But tonight let's take things off for the tag team match. As we have Dan the Man and John Michael the Santa teaming up here tonight to take on two members of Suzuki Goon. The Immortal Champion Hiroshi Hashi and Yoshihiro Takayama. A big episode with all the qualifying matches happening tonight. Like I said, two parts and everything. And speaking of one of the, one of the people that will be in those qualifying matches is Devin. Devin will be in a qualified match in part number two. As uh, I'll talk about the qualifier, qualifying matches and what they're for when we get to the first qualifying match of the night. They'll basically be uh, six-man chamber matches. That's what the qualifying matches will be. And I'll go more in detail when we get to the first qualifying matchup. Anyway, let's talk about this match here. So, reported yesterday, open weight champion Jake Lee had to relinquish his MEOW open weight championship due to an injury to his right foot. It was discovered when he was in Japan a couple of days ago when during a tag team match when it was him, David Finley, and Gabe Kidd when they fought Bishimon and Tomohiro Ishii, Jake Lee injured his right foot. And because of that, he is forced to relinquish the Openweight Championship due to how serious the injury is. I believe he's gonna miss a month or so of action, I don't know. And that's because we do not have the full evaluation of the injury. But it's been confirmed that at the next pay-per-view, which will be next Friday, that the Openweight Championship will be on the line in a match at the pay-per-view, and it will be Dan versus Yoshiro Takayama for the vacated title. Devin asked me about, is he, is he teaming with one of the members of Hell's Gate? Well, no, you're in the qualifying matches tonight, so you won't be tag team with anyone tonight. Blaze is saying that the BWO is taking over and that we don't care. Of course, Blaze saying that he doesn't care about someone being injured. Not only that, it's one of the uh, longest reigning champions on the roster, of course, that gets injured, and Blaze doesn't care. Speaking of Blaze, he'll be a part of one of the qualifying matches tonight. Oh, come on, Blaze. What the hell is wrong with you? Blaze saying that Jake Lee should have broke his leg. Oh, come on. Michael Blaze and pathetically stupid insults. Right now, look at these power bombs by John Michael Santa on Hiroshi Hashi. You gotta believe if John pins Hiroshi Hashi tonight in this tag team match, maybe John might earn himself an immortal title shot at the pay-per-view. There's another beautiful bat breaker from John Michael DeSanta on Hashi. Here comes Takayama. Oh, Hashi with the Uranati. That's how he won the title was with that move right there. And a kick out from John at one. That's how Hiroshi Hashi became the immortal champion when he defeated Corey Crichton two episodes ago when he was the replacement for Marcus Kane and oh my god what a knee trembler by Takayama. What a knee trembler from Takayama to Dan and Dan kicks out. Ooh and John off the ring post. 
Blaze said his girlfriend gave me the money to make his own title. Okay, first of all, A, how the hell do you have a girlfriend? Two, when did anyone ever say that you should make your own championship? And three, how pathetically, how pathetic and ugly looking is the championship? Big time leg drop there by Takayama. Devin says that he's gonna be the greatest MSW television champion. I mean, it's not a bad thing to say. Of course, the current world champion over in MSW is Draven Caius, a member of the uh, Truth Commission. He beat Jeff Cobb to win that championship. And going on here, nope, counter. Oh, you went to say SWW. Yeah, you're uh, TV champion SWW. That is true. Of course, um, SWW, that big main event was Iron Taylor and Brody Williams. And what happened? Iron Taylor lost the world championship to Brody Williams. Just for then Minoru Suzuki and Suzuki Dune to attack Brody Williams after Brody Williams became M SWW champion. Blaze is saying that he made himself. No, he didn't. He lost. Blaze, of course, lost again to Gabriel Kidd on Thursday. Because yet again, Blaze doesn't know how to beat Gabe Kidd. I mean, Gabe Kidd has beaten Michael Blaze in 12 straight matches that involve him and Blaze. That counts multi-man matches. That even counts tag team matches. So Blaze is still yet to prove that he can beat Gabe Kidd in a match. And there's Blaze's cousin Riot saying for people to join the, oh God. Hold on here. Hiroshi Hashi just pile drive Dan on the floor. But our Riot saying for people to join the Blaze World Order. Shut up Riot, first of all, and B Riot will be in a qualified match later. Tonight. In part number two, he might be in the same qualifying match as Devin, I'm not sure. Nice knee lifts here by Yoshio Takayama. The main event of the whole show will be Kenta Kobashi putting his world championship, world championship title opportunity on the line against Joe Kenny in a huge contested matchup. Oh, armbar here. Takayama's got the armbar. And Dan's able to escape the armbar. Oh, Jesus, look out. We got a flying Takayama. A flying Takayama. Here's the cover by John. And John Michael DeSanta just pinned Yoshiro Takayama. My God, did Takayama got sent flying through the air by John Michael DeSanta. I don't even know if Takayama's landed yet from that pounce from John. I mean, that man got sent flying. I'm, I think Takayama might be orbiting Mars right now. Devin saying he's updated his tire a few minutes ago. I'll have to probably get that before part two starts. All right, next up, Trio's matchup. It's going to be uh, Trio's of three champions here. He's got Eric Demon. Marlon Starks and Malachi Abramoff as they face off against the chairman, Tatsumi Fujinami, Ricky Choshu, and the world champion, Yanichiro Tenru. If, of course, if you haven't seen the last episode, spoiler alert, but Yanichiro Tenru is the current MUW world champion. Tenru won the title when he defeated GX3. Rides just can't put me in a match, I'm not ready. So, okay, then I guess Wright doesn't want to have an opportunity to win a Money in the Bank contract. Then. The spoiler alert, these qualifying matches is for a Money in the Bank match. Even though in my company, we don't call it the Money in the Bank. We call it the contract in a case. Or the double C. Ooh, Malachi thrown into the referee. That is true, Red De Devil did do that on Shockwave and he beat up Marcus. 
Only question is, will Red Devil get the last laugh? Nice back suplex by both uh, Fujinami and Nichiro Tenru, two members of Anoki's chairman. Of course, the chairman of MEOW run different departments of the company. Fujinami's talent re is uh, the leader of talent, you know, talent regulations. Choshu is second in command when it comes to being the general manager and owner of the company. And Genichiro Tenru is enforcer for Anoki and head of security. And Ryan, of course, changes his mind and they start talking about what the qualifying match is for. Typical Blaze and Riot always have changed their minds when some big's involved. And Red Devil saying he's Vic's bodyguard. I, I wouldn't really say that you're Vic's bodyguard, but okay. Blaze saying, where's that former friend of his? Oh, you mean Booster or Evil? Because both Booster and Evil will be in, in uh, uh, yeah, both Booster and Evil will be in qualifying matches, I believe. I know Booster's definitely in one, but I don't know about Evil. He may not be in one. Because uh, Evil actually has a match at the pay-per-view, so. We'll see if Evil's in the uh, chamber or not tonight. But I do know that House Torture is in a match later, as in part number two, the House Torture will be in an eight-man tag team match. It, was, it will be House of Torture versus the Wolf Pack and the Funks in eight-man tag. The reason why the uh, Wolf Pack and the Funks are tag team together tonight is simple. The Funks defend the tag team championships at the pay-per-view against both the Wolf Pack and House of Torture. Over here, kick out by Malachi. They say, no, I mean, Vic, they're not my friends. Evil turned on me. Well, to begin with, Blaze, the House of Torture didn't even want you in House of Torture. They just did that just so they could beat you up. Again, Blaze doesn't know the single most important rule when it comes to people in wrestling, and that's don't trust anybody. Oh, Choshu's got the sharpshooter. The man who invented the sharpshooter has it locked in. That Eric breaks it up. Joshu, nice shin breakers, taking out both uh, Eric and Malachi. Oh, but Eric Demon, Gory Knee Crusher. A Gory Knee Crusher, a breakup by Dinitro Tenru, and a DDT for Malachi. Blazes that don't trust anybody. Are you sure about that? You trusted evil. Why the hell would you trust evil is my question. You trusted evil at one point. Nitro Tender back suplex with a counter from Malachi with a rake to the eyes. Blaze is asking a little boy in the, in the crowd if he wants a BWO shirt. You, no. Why the hell would you want a BWO shirt? That is terrible. A snap breaker for Malachi. Fujinami blocked by Eric Demon. Fujinami with the pin. Uh, oh, oh, I actually say Eric Demon with a pin on Fujinami. A kick out there. Oh, Devin talking about the game that the Panthers have against the Chargers. Hey, Hollywood and Vine, Hollywood and Vine here on Fujinami. It's broken up by uh, Nitro Tenor. What a slam by Eric, but uh, yeah, that would be kind of funny if that happens. Eric, and, oh, and a nice kick out by Choshu. But we know the Panthers owe a deal when it comes to, to face opponents like that. Of course, we've only seen one game of Jim, Har Har Jim Harbar. Harbaugh, I can't even say his freaking last name correctly. The Chargers head coach. Nice 53 side by Tenru. Nitro Tenru for the win. And a kick out for Malachi. But Nitro Tenru is on fire. And he might try to put away Malachi here. Good counter though from Malachi Abneroff. 
Aberhoff going to switch into him here. Speaking of switching, there's Vampiro. Cover Malachi for a victory and a breakup. He has a big time submission by Fujinami. Wow, what power here. Malachi Abroth running power slam. World champion those fired up, but here comes Malachi Abroth. Oh, look at this, Vampiro says he's on vacation for a little bit, that's good. Cover Malachi for the win on Genitro Tenru, and a kick out by Tenru. Yeah, it feels good to be on vacation whenever. I don't think I'm on, I don't think I'm gonna take my vacation until next year. Big time back suplex by Ricky Chosh, or by Dinitro Tenru. Tenru, whoa, what is this on Malachi? Tenru, wow, what a kick to the ribs of Malachi Abroth and gut buster on Malachi Abroth from Dinitro Tenru. That was an interesting looking move by the world champion. Oh, this is it for Malachi. Full in the L big time power bomb. Nitro Tenru. I'm actually surprised he didn't go for the pin on that. Blaze is ten thousand dollars for BWO shirts. What the hell? Oh, wow, pile driver. Pile driver. Actually, Malachi's in trouble. Malachi might want to be careful here. Oh, Choshi went for a sharpshooter and he didn't get it. Choke here on Choshu. Tenru back in the ring. Malachi looking to put look down. Oh, the Northern Lights bomb. Genichiro Tenru. Tenru, here's the pin. Oh, Matt, wow. Marlon kicked out of it. Here's a cover. Here's a cover. And good job breaking up there. It was all oh, the world champion. Oh, what a clothesline by Tenru and a breakup by Malachi. Devin asking Vamp a question. A couple of close sequences there in this matchup, but not enough to end it yet. A oh, high big knee by Eric Demon, the hybrid champion who beat Lance Archer to win that championship title. Shot the head to Fujinami. Nice kick by Malachi on Tenru, the world champion. Joe Kenny, of course, in that big main event against Kenta Kobashi, where if Joe Kenny beats Kenta Kobashi, he will get Kobashi's world championship shot at the pay-per-view. Nice back suplex. Cobra twist by Fujinami. Malachi in the ring. Malachi's not looking too good right now. Ooh, stunner by Marlon Starks. Yeah, Kenny is a face. I don't know what you're talking about, Taylor. Tenru thrown back in, thrown into the pack with Malachi Abramoff. Abramoff, though, is looking pretty dorpy right there. Nice suplex there by Malachi Abramoff. Abramoff going up to the top rope here. Abramoff, whoa, look out here. Oh, what an elbow from the top for Malachi. Here's a cover on Fujinami. Would that get the win? No, it will not. A kick out by Fujinami. And power bomb on Genichiro Tenru. Cover to Tenru to win the match. No, a kick out Tenru. Fujinami with a great, with a great kick out. Fujinami with a gun wrench suplex. Oh, but Tenru's in trouble. Oh, what a good counter by the world champion. The world champion with a tremendous counter. And here we go, folding power bomb. Here comes a cover by the champ. And that's it, the world champion and the other chairman win the match.
Fujinami Choshu and the world champion Yunichiro Tenru defeat Malachi Abroff, Eric Demon, and Marlon starts with a folding power bomb to Malachi Abramoff by the world champion. Stupid Malachi. Blaze talked about her grandma. Now I'm going to talk about these Elimination Chamber matches here. So these Elimination Chamber matches, we have eight of them tonight. We have four in part one, and we have four in part two. These Chamber matches are qualifying matches for what will, um, for a match called, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. These qualifying matches are for a um, shot at the contract in a case match at the pay-per-view. Of course, there's eight matches, so that means eight people will be in the contract in a case match at the pay-per-view. Where just like the Money in the Bank contract, you win the contract, you get to cash it in on any championship that you want. Hell's Gate, Joe Kenny, and two surprise partners. Wow. Devin talked about Zane the Monster. Zane the Monster, it will be in a chamber match tonight. Six to their saying, Dan Malachi, he made my client look bad. Yeah, it's Denitro Tenru. He's the world champion for a reason. It's Denitro Tenru, the world champion, the enforcer of the company, and the head of security. But here's this first chamber matchup of eight. Like I said, four will happen in part one, and the other four will happen in part two. Play some of who's the fat guy with Matt Bennett. Play shut up. But uh, GX3 will start in one of the pods here. GX3 was the last world champion that we had before Dimitro Tenru won the title. So GX3 is going to try to get a chance to win that contract in the case so he can get another chance at the World Championship. And I know that GX3 wants that world title back badly. Speaking of uh, Matt Bennett, here's Matt Bennett. Matt Bennett's been put through a hell over the last month with uh, Alex Brimstone and Trevor Johnson throwing him aside and changing the name to Hell's Gate and not only that, Matt Bennett's had to deal with the society as well. But it'll be even fun, even better for Matt Bennett if he can win the uh, match tonight and even win the contract in a case match. Who's next here? Ah, Yoshinobu Karamaru of House of Torture. He's going to get chamber as well. Yoshinobu, this is his first of two matches tonight. Yoshinobu's pulling double duty. So not only is he in this match tonight, but in part two, he's going to be a part of an eight-man tag team match when House of Torture, Evil, Sho, Yoshinobu, and Dick Toto will face off against the Wolfpack and the tag team champions, the Funks, in an eight-man tag. Blaze is saying, uh, Yoshi, uh, Yoshinobu, you turned on me. You guys turned on me. Blaze, shut up. No one cares. No one cares that they turned on you, Blaze. Because let's face it, we don't like house torture. We care less about what the house torture does. Ah, Draven Caius. Oh, the MSW world champion is in this match. That's a... Oh, okay, the MSW World Champion is in this chamber match here. I guess OJ the Truth Palmer will be happy about this one, especially if Draven Caius could win this match tonight and get a chance to win the contract in the case. Caius now, I don't know if Draven Caius has to defend the MSW World title on Sunday. I don't know, if he does, I don't know who he defends it against. Blaze is saying Yoshinobu thought his name was Yoda. No, Blaze, 
Yoshinobu Karamaru and Yoda Suji are two completely different people. Friggin' stupid Blaze. Blaze, get your head out of your ass for a quick second, please. Funny enough, guess who starts this match? The two rookies, Chris, uh, Chris Maverick and Ben Robinson, are both going to start this chamber match. So the rookies will get to prove themselves against the fans here tonight. Robinson actually is going to have the most pressure because Ben Robinson had a terrific performance at the uh, Battle Royal on uh, last episode. When uh, he lasted in that Battle Royal into the final two, he was eventually eliminated by John Moxley, which helped Moxley go into that big eight-man Barrow Brawl match. But Robinson hold his own and even got rid of some big players. Anyway, let's begin here, enough talk. Now hopefully 2K doesn't friggin' glitch on me tonight and have issues with these chamber matches. I know that a lot of people will be doing things. Uh, Vampiro says that tomorrow Dan, Brandon, and Okada will be defending the trio's titles against Katsuyori, Shibata, Corey Crichton, and Marcus Kane. Nice. Funny enough, um, Shibata and Marcus will be a part of the uh, World Tag League. That will be starting up in October here. October will be uh, World Tag League month. Where we will have 20 teams in World Tag League, two blocks of 10. Top eight in each block will move on to the playoffs. Some teams that will be in that World Tag League this year, Marcus and Shibata. You'll have the Funks. You'll have Air Attack, the guys, the guys who won the first World Tag League we did and a lot more other teams. So be on the lookout for when I reveal the teams in the World Tag League. Nice kick from Chris Maverick there on Ben Robinson. And the first man out of the chamber, Pods, is GX3. Devin says, how does it going to qualify for the World Tag League? Well, I mean, it's more so you just finding a tag team partner, really. I mean, I, I I already know that Hell's Gate, Alex Brimstone, and Trevor Johnson will be a part of the World Tag League because they were the actual tag team champions in the first ever World Tag League we had. Sadly enough, though, those two boys want to lose those tag team titles to the winners of World Tag League, which were Blue Arrow and Sean Monaco, which then, uh, that World Tag League completely transformed Blue Arrow and John Monaco here. Because ever since John Monaco and Blue Arrow won World Tag League last year, those two boys have just been dominating. They dominate the tag team scene here with, after they won the World Tag League. I mean, you want to talk about dominance. We're talking a 200 plus day reign as tag team champions. I'm talking five reigns as tag team champions here. There's Christopher Hovis, by the way. He's not on the card tonight. But it's always good to see him in chat. Devin talking about how he's going to have a partner for World Tag League and it's going to be the Red Devil. Hey, that works. I still have three open spots left in World Tag League, so. That's good. Blaze is asking Christopher if he wants the Blaze World Order shirt. Now Christopher, he might not be the brightest tool in the shed, but Christopher, I know he won't buy Blaze's shirt, because Blaze sucks. Here's Yoshinobu Karamaru. Yoshinobu's apparently trying to get a shot at the IWGP uh, the IWGP Junior he uh, Heavyweight title. He threw out the challenge to the current champion, Doki, back on September the 11th, after Doki retained his IWGP Junior Heavyweight title against Taichi Ishimori. 
The reports say that he's trying to get that title shot for September the 29th in Kobe. Evan Nakba, Hell's Gate has better shirts than Blaze. Everyone has better shirts than Blaze. Draven Kais, the MSW World Champion. No one's been eliminated just yet, but you never tell what will happen in the chamber matches. Nice kick by Draven Kais, the MSW World Champion. I gotta say, someone who's definitely gonna be feeling on top of the world is OJ the Truth Palmer. I mean, look at OJ right now. He's got both the MSW World and MSW Tag Team Champions. And that's gotta feel tremendous for OJ the Truth Palmer. Alabama Slam, Superplex from Matt Bennett. Devin Todd, he wants to go up against the Blaze World Order. Yeah, I think Blaze and Riot will be in that World Tag League as well. Like I said, we, we, there's, it's a 20-team World Tag League, so there's a lot of spots. A well, crucifix by Matt Bennett. Now ben Robinson, will that take out Robinson? No, a kick out for Ben. This counter from Ben Robinson. Vampiro saying that Bomber and Clown will be defending their titles as Air Attack. Yep. We know how good Air Attack is. We, we know how good Air Attack is, but we also know how good uh, Bomber and Clown are. Bomber basically single-handedly won those tag team titles last Sunday. Good shots by Maverick on Matt Bennett with backbreaker. She gets three up right now at the moment. And Yoshinobu is sent down. Christopher saying the Blazing still whip is behind. Yeah, I don't blame you. Anyone can whip Blaze behind. Oh, backslide driver. Oh, Bennett kicks out of the backslide driver. Draven Caius, the rolling elbow to the back of the head. Blaze is saying that the Blaze World Order is himself, Riot, Spike Collins, Stink, uh, his lawyer, Josiah Taylor, and his father. Wow, what a shitty team that is. Brody Williams found a new woman. Okay. Good for Brody, of course. Ow, Yoshinobu thrown right down. What is GX3 doing at the top rope? Wow, GX3, top rope with a beautiful diving double axe handle. Caius misses the moonsault on Matt Bennett. And Matt Bennett going, trying to go for a pedigree here. Bennett hooks the arms. Matt Bennett with a pedigree. Double covers here. Kick outs by both men. Oh, Robinson though, out of nowhere. Slamming Bennett's head on the mat. Cover by Maverick on GX3. And kick out by GX3. Counter by Bennett. So far, still no one's been eliminated, but that's just how good this these competitors are. Nice slam there. Bennett from behind, going for an electric chair. Electric chair into the face buster. Nice elevated face buster but from Matt Bennett. Yoshinobu with an X Factor. Blaze says, I don't care if you're sick. Blaze, shut up, okay? Shut up. You don't care about the injured and you don't care about the sick. So shut up. 
Nice clothesline, GX3. Bennett's in trouble, he's on spaghetti legs right here. And you don't want to be on spaghetti legs when you're facing GX3. Alabama slam. The cover to Matt Bennett. And oh wow, Bennett somehow kicks out. Okay, what the hell is Yoshinobu doing? Going for something on Robinson, but he's taking a long ass time to do anything. Oh, what a close line to Bennett by GX3. Brody saying poor, poor Joey Joel. Joey Joel, my bad, Joey Joel. I guess she didn't have enough brain power to realize that she was hanging out with the world champion. Oh, there you go. That's, a, that's what the society would do to your brain. Oh, man, Dra Draven's head almost went right into that cage wall. Nice shot. Yoshinobu trying to get back up to his feet. Ben Robinson blocked there by Yoshinobu. Yoshinobu misses, but Ben Robinson's in trouble. We got another pedigree from Matt Bennett. Bennett the cover. And no, Robinson again. Ooh, no. Robinson off of the, uh, went off the pod. There's an inverted DDT by Draymond Caius. Caius will go for that. Torture at Powerbomb, he got it. A close line to Bennett. Here's a cover by Ben Robinson. And there goes Matt Bennett. He's taken out by Ben Robinson. Uh, referee, there's a pin right now. And a kick out by Maverick. Brody Williams says to Iron Taylor that uh, blow it at your ass, tiny loser. Draven Kais, bam, torture at Powerbomb. That's how he won the world championship. And there goes Robinson, taken out by Draven Kais. Place asks, who is Ben Robinson? He's a rookie. He's a rookie there, Blaze. Kick out by Yoshinobu. We're down to four. We're down to GX3, Draven Kais, Chris Maverick and Yoshinobu. That was a brutal shot on GX3 by Maverick. Will that take out GX3? It will, GX3's eliminated, so we're down to three. We're down to Draven Kais, Yoshinobu, Karamaru, and Chris Maverick. The winner will go on to the contract in a case matchup. There's a leg drop by Maverick. Blaze is a rookie, you mean a jobber. No, he's not a jobber, he's won matches. Unlike you, Blaze, which you can't. Springboard there by Maverick. It's be a big one for Chris Maverick. Chris Maverick has never had a, 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 a singles title match before. You never know, he might get it if he wins tonight and then he wins with pay-per-view. Oh, what a needle of back. Playing spoiler there is Yoshinobu. Can you imagine if Yoshinobu wins this match and then at the pay-per-view he wins the contract and the tag team titles? Brain Buster Yoshinobu! Is Chris Maverick eliminated? No, he is not. A kick out. But yeah, can you imagine if Yoshinobu not only wins the contract, but if he wins the tag team titles with show? Blaze is asking Spike Collins if he wants to go attack Ben Robinson. Blaze, piss off. Can you and your stupid little group piss off for one second, please? Nice drop kick by Draven Caius. Caius drops an elbow. You want to know how dominant Draven Caius is? Go look at how good he was as TV champion in MSW. I mean, that man retained that title like how many times? Seven or eight different times? just to then lose the title and win the world championship in the same night. There's a kick out from Yoshinobu. Draven counters the small kick downstairs. Go home, driver. Which 
There's something that Blaze should do. Blaze should go home. Face wash from Caius. Raven Caius. Going for no, he went for the invert DET. He got caught with the Oh, what the hell? The missed. The miss by Yoshinobu on Draven Caius. What the hell? The missed by Yoshinobu. I don't even know if Draven can see right now. The miss by Yoshinobu on Draven Caius. Yeah, Draven can't see right now. He got blinded by that mist from Yoshinobu. Friggin' Yoshinobu with the alcohol mist. What the hell? Here's a cover on Maverick. Maverick is eliminated, so we're down to Draven versus Yoshinobu. Of course, Draven got drilled with the alcoholic mist, so who knows if Draven can even see right now. Oh, but Draven catches him. Draven Caius lifting inverted DDT. Draven for the win. He does it. Draven Caius wins the chamber match tonight. And he's going to go and try to win the contract in the case. So the MSW world champion is still on a roll. But Draven Caius pins Yoshinobu despite getting missed in the face. And he's going on to the pay-per-view to try to win a contract for any title match that he wants. That'd be dangerous if Draven can hold on to the uh, MSW world title. Then he wins the contract, then he decides to win the MUW world title. He could be double world champion. Blaze says he's a good guy. No, he's not. No. Blaze thinks that he's a good guy. No, you're not. Speaking of that, Blaze, get your ass down to the ring. Because Michael Blaze is in this matchup right here. It's Grit, Booster. Wow, uh, that's PJ. That's PJ right there. That's Marcus Walker, a newbie. Blue Arrow, Michael Blaze, and Chaz. So let's see if Blaze can back up his new tire. So a friend of Zane the Monster is here. He's in this match. So that's Marcus Walker. Of course, if you want to download uh, Marcus Walker or Zane the Monster, uh, that's under Captain Fiend Danger. But there's Grit. Hey, it would be sick to see if not, not only Grit win this match, but it would be pretty cool to see Grit win the contract too. Grit's never really hold a title here before. So we kind of see if it would be nice to see Grit hold a championship here at some point. Or I might be lying, Grit may have held a title here at one point, I just don't remember it. Oh wait, this music, I already know who this is. Speak to the devil, here's Michael Blaze. Here's Michael Blaze. Actually, yeah, you're right, Grit did have the trios titles, I forget, yes. Actually, I believe you're right there, Vampiro. Britt was a trios champion. Yes, you are right. Yes, Britt was a trios champion. I forgot about that. Yes, he was a trios champion. All right, get Blaze's ugly face off my screen. I had enough of looking at him. Blaze has stopped boring me. Blaze, shut the hell up. You're in a match, so shut up. Speaking of someone that's better than Blaze, here's Booster. Someone uh, someone might want to tell him, be careful when you enter that chamber when you're full sprint, okay? I don't think you want to fall while you're running to the chamber. Blaze is stupid fans. Okay, so how about stupid Blaze? 
This blaze is stupid. So who's going to get the last pod here? Might be Marcus Walker that gets the final pod here. No, it's Chaz. So Chaz is going to be in a pod here. Ooh, that means Blue Arrow and Marcus Walker are going to start this match. So the newbie, Marcus Walker, is going to be facing Blue Arrow to start off the chamber. Yikes, that's not good for Blue Arrow because he's going to, be, uh, going to be in a height and weight disadvantage. But, I mean, Blue Arrow has pulled off the impossible the impossible before. I mean, we're talking about a multi-time MSW tag team champion, multi-time MLW tag team champion, and international champion, and trios champion as well. And I believe uh, also Blue Arrow, I believe, was also an MSW world champion too. Ah, uh, crap, there's Marcus Walker. Yeah, look out for this guy. Him and Zane are complete monsters in the ring. You'll see Zane later on, by the way. Vampiro said, yes, Blue Arrow is an MSW World Champion. Yeah, he was. Spike says for Blaze to destroy them. Yeah, like Blaze is going to win this match. The only way Blaze wins this match is if he's the last person out of, the, out of his pods. And there's only one person left in the match, and they have like hardly any uh, health left. Look at the height disadvantage that Blue Arrow has against Marcus Walker. This guy's massive. He's bigger than Zane. Now, right to the arm of Blue Arrow. And Marcus Walker going right after Blue Arrow here, trying to choke him out, drop him away. My goodness. Walker, counter by Blue Arrow, good counter from Arrow. Trying to fend off the monster. <laughs> Alright, says Blaze, that man's big run. Again, more chicken, more more times being a chicken here. Funny enough, Blaze is not even the match yet, he wants to run away. Alright, let's see, he's gonna be the first out of their pods here. Oh, and the referee goes Arrow. All right, and it is. Booster, Booster's the first out of his pod. Okay, here comes Booster, former tag team champion here, and KOPW champion, and show master, king of the Rumble champion. And Shockwave Wrestling world champion. They're firing off shots on Marcus Walker, but not enough to follow. Close line, but does nothing to Walker. Arrow, counter with a kick there for Marcus Walker. A good shot for Booster. Booster with the kick. Booster, DDT, drops him. And a missed drop kick by Blue Arrow. Laces, come on, Blue Booster, you can do this. We can up. Blaze believing that he's going to have everyone else do his work for him. Next up is Blaze. Here comes Michael Blaze. Yeah, show, show him who's boss there, Blaze. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Blaze in the matchup. Well, this blue arrow inverted 1916. Walker thrown back in the ring. Pele by Blue Arrow. And now Arrow. Slam Blade. Look at this. Blaze is trying to go after Walker like the idiot that he is. How, how's it going for you right now, Blaze? Huh? How's it going right there for you, buddy? Walker goes after Booster. All right, who's up out of the pods next? Is it Chaz or a Grit? Watch this match closely. And it's Grit, which means Chaz is going to be the last man out of the pod. 
which sucks because I don't want the society to win this match. Not only that, but the society has all three of their members in chamber matches tonight. Yes, you'll see Kyle Hammer and Running Wolf in a later chamber match as well. Blaze, keep that big guy away from me. Grit was supposed to be out before me. Blaze, stop crying. Super flex. Blue Arrow diving double. No, no, no uh, diving double foot stomp for Blue Arrow. It's got knee lifted by Marcus Walker. And Walker has Blue Arrow up right now. And there goes Arrow. Here comes Chaz. Let's see what Chaz will do here. Oh my God, will the power of Booster. Booster, what a submission hold here. I'm surprised that he didn't even do this. The Chaz trying to act a grit here. Chaz goes for the neck breaker, but he can. They want to close line out of the corner from Chaz. Again, who would have thought that Chaz would be a part of the society? After everything that Chaz went through with all of his friends, Chaz, of course, joins the society. Valero kicks out. Uh-oh, Blaze is in trouble. Choke slam. Choke slam on Michael Blaze. And now Booster goes after Blaze. Here's a cover on Blaze by Booster. And Blaze kicks out to stay alive. Iron Taylor saying that he's tired of the society. I think we all are anyway. There's a kick by Boost by Blaze. Blaze, sunset flip. Chaz in trouble here. Marcus Walker going for the tombstone. Nope. Michael Blaze, the drop kicks for Lake Booster. Merkel suplex power bomb there by Grit on Chaz. At one point, Grit and Chaz were friends. And now Chaz has no friends. Blue Arrow going after Grit here. But Grit still connects. Just barely though, he hit him with his finger I think on that. Cover, Arrow somehow kicks out. Maybe if Grit would have got the full extent of the move, he would have pinned him. There goes Chaz to the floor by Blaze. Oh man, shoulder tackle. Marcus Walker, and Booster is eliminated. There goes Booster, taken out by Marcus Walker. Oh, another shoulder tackle, now on Blue Arrow. And Arrow somehow kicks out of that shoulder tackle. There's a real rock and roll on Chaz. Devin's saying that uh, the society doesn't mess with him and his friends. Well, at some point they will. It's just the society we're talking about here. They don't care. Down goes Blue Arrow. Oh, leg drop to the back of Blaze by Marcus Walker. Cover on Britt. Britt kicks out. Look out for Blaze. How about a real rocket roll up by Michael Blaze on Blue Arrow. And here's the cover. And Arrow kicks out. Somehow Blue Arrow is able to kick out of a real rocket roller. Michael Blaze was talking smack to the official about that kick out, saying that that should have been it for him. And that actually might be it for Arrow right there. Stone gun and Arrow eliminated by Marcus Walker. A stun gun was what did him in. And Chaz, down he goes, Blaze kicks out. Taylor says when Sullivan was in charge of the society, they had order. Somehow Marcus Walker able to kick out of that. Where the hell is Britt going? Britt top of the chamber pod, what the hell? Britt get down from there, and Britt gets down. Britt was at the top of the, ro uh, at the, top of the friggin' chamber pod. I was not expecting Grit to be at the top of the pods. 
but we are down to four. Marcus Walker, Blaze, Chaz, and Britt. Britt trying to take out Chaz, but Chaz catches him. This is not too good for Britt. And out of the corner, is Britt going to be eliminated by Chaz? No. Oh, Blaze is in trouble. Blaze is in desperate trouble here. Marcus Walker's going for old school. And here it comes, a little old school to Michael Blaze. Oh, the back elbow from Chaz. Booster just said for Blaze to lose. Exactly, Blaze lose, please. Blaze thrown in the other corner by Chaz, but from behind is Britt. Britt eats an elbow to the back of his head. And here comes Britt fighting back against Chaz. Now the arm. Ooh, that's not a hurt. Twist your arm like that, and down goes Britt, courtesy of Marcus Walker. Walker trying to take out Britt. Britt kicks out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Brent eats a tombstone. Tombstone from Walker. Blaze is eliminated by Chaz. Suck it, Blaze. Brent is eliminated by Marcus Walker, so we are down to two. We are down to Chaz and Walker. Devin's saying he's gonna tell me what Devin's moves are. I feel like you should wait, Devin, and tell me that when your match happens. So we're down to just Marcus Walker and Chaz. Chaz is trying to win the matchup right here. Dominator from Chaz. Chaz to win. But the referee is too busy doing donuts. But Walker kicks out. Blaze is telling uh, Chaz that he's fat. Okay, I don't know how he is. Nice duck by Chaz. Chaz misses the clothesline. And a Russian leg sweep from Marcus Walker. Ow. Chaz has been busted open, and here comes Marcus Walker with his punches in the corner. Counter by Chaz. Chaz, knee to the head of Walker. Can Chaz keep this up? Chaz lost time or a full Nelson slam. He got him. Is Chaz going to go to the pay-per-view? Yes, he is. Chaz has just gotten the win. So Chaz has just, just got an opportunity to try to win the contract in a case. Beating Marcus Walker, who Marcus Walker had a dominant performance. But Chaz was the last man to get out of the pods, and he is the last man standing. And Blaze talking more smack again. All right, we got two more chamber matches here in part in this part here. This one here is going to have Terminus, Azarenka, Zane, the monster. Terry Gordy, Luther, and Evan Magnificent. All right, we're going to start things off with Zane and Terry Gordy. With Luther, Azarenka, Evan, I have Nick, by the way, Evan and whoever else is in the pod. Ooh, big miss there by uh, Zane early on here. Hell's Gates going after Walker that stage. I believe Zane and Alex and, and Marcus Walker is going to be a part of World Tag League as well. Which that's a scary team. Marcus Walker and Zane the Monster. That would be a dangerous team. Places, excuse me, old man. I was trying to be nice. You want help to your seat? Says Blaze. Blaze, stop bothering the fans, okay? They paid money to see this. And we don't even pay you. Man, look at Zane the monster just beating the hell out of Terry Gordy. All right, who's the first man to be out of the pods here? 
it is Azarenka. Yes, he did. He made both of them. Yes, that is correct. He made both guys. They're monsters, I'll tell you that for sure. I mean, Marcus Walker, he may have not won that chamber match, but he lasted until the final two. And Walker was one of the first two guys in the damn match. Wow, Terry Gordy went for a, a clothesline on, on Zane. It did nothing. It did nothing to, Al to Zane the monster. Oh, Terry Gordy's also been busted open. There's a bulldog there on Zane, but Zane's already back to his feet. So I don't know if that's a rank that can keep this man down. Oh, a verbal suplex. Terry Gordy with a big DDT. Yeah, he does. Cat Fiend Danger definitely does a good job. Who's next? It's Luther. Luther's now in this match. Of course, Luther, a part of the Truth Commission with OJ the Truth Palmer. Our, of course, uh, Luther would join the Truth Commission after he turned his back on Marcus. Luther said he did it out of because everyone else forgot about him and that he joined the Truth Commission because he knows that OJ and the others won't forget about him. Cat Fiend Danger makes really good characters. Go counter by Luther. Luther, big, he's a big bulldog from Azarenka. Azarenka, what are the maneuvers here with a high athletically gifted Azarenka? Luther, kick out there by, uh, kick out by Luther. Next up is Terminus. Of course, we have to give the Rick Rude wannabe the, the last chamber spot, of course. Why does Ed Magnificent get the final chamber spot? Saying top rope right now. Look out! Terry Gordy goes after Zane here. Terminus. Slamming down Azarenka. Yeah. Happy Danger is a damn good creator. I'll give him that. All right, and here comes that magnificent. Everyone's in the match. Evan, I have to come last. Magnificent. A kiss up, says Taylor. And there you go. Not only that, but Evan, Evan and RJ Lucas lost the uh, MSW Tag Team titles because of Evan. Oh, there's the power bomb from Gordy. Terry Gordy takes out Zane the Monster. Look at Terry Gordy go. One half of the Miracle Violence Connection just took out Zane the Monster. by Terry Gordy, the legend himself. Terry Gordy, you know he might not be this uber great legend, but he's Terry Gordy. He's the best member of the Freebirds. And is part of one of the greatest tag teams of all time, the Miracle Violence Connection. So you better not underestimate Terry Gordy. See the Miracle Violence connection in the World Tag League to this year. And Tevins going after Zane backstage. Of course, Hell's Gate went after Marcus Walker earlier. Luther's in trouble. Terminus setting him up for it. Big time cut. And now Azarenka. Luther kicks out. Azarenka rolling kill switch. Shoulder tackle by Terry Gordy. And a kick out by Evan. 
Nice head bump by Terry Gordy. I'm gonna switch up my headset. There you go, that's a little better. Power bomb on, on Terry Gordy by Luther. And the BWO going to the video truck says we got a video to play after the match. Oh, no, hell no, we're not playing your video after the match. We don't play loser videos after the match. As a ranker going after another big clothesline by Terry Gordy. And Terry Gordy. Here comes a bulldog, no, a headlock into a, a trip. That's a very interesting maneuver there by Terry Gordy. A drop toe hold into an arm switch. I don't even know how to say that move, but that was such an interesting move by Terry Gordy. Oh, uh, Luther's in trouble. Anaconda Vice by Evan. A break up Terry Gordy. Gordy going after Evan here. Terry Gordy going for the power. No, oh, pile driver on Evan. Magnificent. A pile driver by Terry Gordy. Evan is back to his feet. Terry. Throws him off from the ropes. Oh, what a roundhouse. What a boot from Terry Gordy. Terry Gordy. And Evan kicks out. And what a power slam from Luther. Luther to take out Azarenka. Nope. Places, why are these people so mean? Uh, because we don't let losers control the show. And Blaze, you're a loser. Big time earth shattering, earth shattering splash from Luther off the top rope. Terry Gordy, DDT on Terminus. What a counter by Azarenka. And Luther kicked out. And a shot to the back by Terry Gordy. Where did Terry Gordy go? He's taking out two people at once. Again, that guy always say, do not underestimate the greatness that is Terry Gordy. And Gordy with a, a choke here on Terminus. Terminus trying to escape. And he does. And now double knees right to the head. Covered by Azarenka on Luther. And Luther again able to kick out. Blaze says that he does not care. When does Blaze ever care? That is a better, that's an even better question. When does Blaze ever care? Yeah, what, what do you guys think? When does Blaze ever care? I don't think Blaze cares about anything. Azarenka sets up Luther. Nice, out of the corner of the rolling uppercut. Here's the cover. And there goes Luther, eliminated by Azarenka, so we're down to four. Evan Terminus as a as a rank on Gordy. Gordy just booted him right in the head. Terry Gordy. 11 8 7. And we're down to three. As a ranka, Terminus and Terry Gordy. And you imagine if Terry Gordy wins this match. Terry Gordy was one of the first two men that started the match. And he imagine if Terry Gordy goes all the way. He may go all the way. Belly to belly on uh, Terry Gordy by Azarenka on by uh, Terminus. Azarenka, screw fly solution. On Terry Gordy, is Gordy going to be eliminated? No, he is not a kick out from Terry Gordy. Terminus trying to take out Azarenka. And yeah, we got a submission, ankle lock. We got an ankle lock on Azarenka. Azarenka trying not to give up. He's trying to get out of it. He's able to. Oh, wait a minute, cover, Terry Gordy. And he takes out Azarenka. What a smart job by Terry Gordy. And we're down to two, Terry Gordy in Terminus. Can Terry Gordy pull it off? 
Oh, but a counter by Terminus. Terminus with a big suplex on Terry Gordy. Let's see if Terry Gordy can pull it off. Terminus was one of the last people in the match. While Terry Gordy, he started the match. Down goes Terminus. Gordy drops the elbow. Terry Gordy, second rope. Drops the elbow off the second rope. What a beautiful elbow from Terry Gordy. Gordy, here's the cover. Kick out by Terminus. And a kick right to the back. That was a hard shot by Terry Gordy. Gordy back in the ring. Terminus off the end of the corner here by Terry Gordy. Gordy with the knee in the corner. And a little of this trying to choke out Terminus is Terry Gordy. Terminus is in trouble. Terry throws Terminus in the other corner now. Counter by Terminus. Terminus with Gordy's leg. Gordy trying to stay alive here. Terminus picks him up. Terminus drops Terry Gordy on the ropes. Terry in trouble. Ah, right to that leg. That's not going to feel good, I can tell that for sure. And again, just trying to take out that leg. But smart idea by Terry Gordy to roll in the ropes here. And oh man, close on the floor. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Gordy, you might want to move. Terry, you might want to move. Terminus got the diving punch. And this might be game over for Terry Gordy. Oh no, it won't. Big counter from Terry Gordy. What a counter from Terry Gordy on Terminus. Terminus thrown over the top by Gordy. Gordy's saying, let's end this right here. Terry Gordy sets him up. Pile, spike pile driver. Terry Gordy. Can he just get the pin? Here's the cover. Nah, Terminus kicks out at two. But how much longer in the tank does Terminus have? Gordy staying on him here. Terminus is on spinning legs. Terry Gordy's going for the power bomb. Can Terry Gordy hit it? Terminus in trouble again. Gordy lifts him up. Power bomb folds him into the cover. No, oh, Terminus finds a way to survive. But Gordy is feeling it. He is feeling it. He knows he's so close. In the corner. Oh, wow, whoa, whoa, what is this? Oh, but Terminus with the counter. Oh, low blow. Oh, come on, low blow. Terminus wins, are you serious? Come on, a low blow by Terminus. And pins Terry Gordy. Terminus wins, but what a disgusting display for how he won that match. After the fight that Terry Gordy gave him, he ends him with a low blow. Wow, what a disrespectful son of a bitch that is. Gordy was, all, was so close to going all the way, but Terminus ends him with a low blow. And everyone's, everyone is booing, everyone in the arena is booing Terminus off that low blow they gave Terry Gordy. A low blows what ends the match. Man, that's such, oh. That's such disrespect to a legend like Terry Gordy. I mean, Gordy was great in that match. He took out some really good people. Gordy took out Zane. He took out Azarenka. He took out a good amount of people. He took out two big hitters in that match just to then lose the match by a low blow. Such garbage is what that's called. Anyway, here's the final chamber match for this part. Anyway, we're going to do some shout-outs before this match. Of course, shout-outs to everyone in the chat. 
Captain Awesome, Devin the Bandit, Vampiro712, and Christopher Hovis, all the people in the chat tonight. And the other shout-outs, of course, Shockwave Wrestling, Prince Macau, and the other ones I give shout-outs to. Oh, and WXW as well. I give a shout-out to WXW. Devin goes after Terminus with the knee, and he says that no one disrespects Terry Gordy. I agree. Gordy fought hard. He fought well, and he almost won the damn thing. I thought he had Terminus off that powerbomb. But here's the last chamber match of part number one, as it will be a, a match where it's a lot of former world champions except for the Iron Taylor. Now first, here comes Brandon Styles. Now, now apparently everyone wants a piece of Terminus after what he did to Terry Gordy. Now, of course, Terry Gordy already has a match for the pay-per-view as he will go one-on-one -on -one with one of the chairmen of MUOW and Tatsumi Fujinami just because during a trios match where it was Joe Kenny, Terry Gordy, and Steve Williams, Gordy and Fujinami just could not get their hands off each other. And so they're going to resolve it in the ring on next Friday. Speaking of Taylor, here he is. Here's Iron Taylor. Iron Taylor is the only man in this match here that has never won in the MUOW World Championship title. Taylor, he is a former Shockwave champion and a former MSW champion, but he has never won the MUOW World Championship. Yes, Taylor has won titles here before, but he's never won the World Championship. And that's one thing that's off his resume that I know he wants to take off. Hey, he, he could do it if he wins the chamber tonight and then wins that contract. And speaking of someone that I don't want to win this, it's evil. Here comes that son of a gun, evil. Of House of Torture. Uh, I hope to the love of the gods that evil does not win tonight. Of course, one half the current MSW t television tag team champions with Dick Togo, the president of Shockwave Wrestling, and helped his boys show and Dick Togo win the Shockwave Wrestling tag team titles. This is a man who has held the MEOW world title on two separate occasions. And if he, if he does it for a third time, he will tie the record for most world championship reigns in this company with three, which will time with David Finley here, which is scary to believe that we'll have two Bullet Club members, or two Bullet Club almost guys with, with that. Because Finley, when we were first starting out, David Finley won the world championship three separate times. Even better. Here he goes to confirmation. House Tortures defend the TV titles against three other teams tomorrow. Good. Here comes Tory Crichton, a former two-time MUW World Champion and a part of the Triple Crown World Championship Club. Tory Crichton was the first man to do that, actually, to, to be in that, in that club. Matt Crichton was the first ever person to be a part of that Triple Crown World Club when he won the MOW World title here because Corey's won the Shockwave and MSW titles lots of times. I mean, this is a man who held five world championships at one time. That's how much of a legend that Corey Crichton is. And I know that he would want to win that world championship for a third time and tie the record here for most world championship title reigns. By the way, guess who gets to start this match? This is a brutal starting two, by the way. We're gonna start the match with two guys that could go all the way, which is insane to believe. L look who starts this match here. Are you ready? 
It's going to be Minoru Suzuki. He's the first one that's going to start this. Suzuki's a former world champion, former immortal, former KOPW title, former IWGP Never Openweight and IWGP Intercontinental Champion, former GHC Heavyweight Champion, former IWGP Tag Team Champion, former GHC Tag Team Champion. Heck, Suzuki didn't even become a future MLW World Tag Team Champion. Because Suzuki and uh, one of his members in Contra are going to be challenging for that MLW World Tag Team titles at some point down the line. And here's the leader of Suzuki Doon. He's going to have one of his uh, fellow members of Suzuki Doon, Lance Archer, in a chamber match in part two. And look who starts with Suzuki, Gabe Kidd. <laughs> We're starting with Suzuki and Gabe Kidd. Get ready for an all-out hoss fight early on. You know how dangerous of a fighter Suzuki is, but we also know how dangerous of a fighter Gabe Kidd is. We might see a double knockout, actually, in this match between Gabe Kidd and Minoru Suzuki. Of course, Gabe Kidd, two-time world champion here. Immortal champion, KOPW champion, two-time tag team champion as well, and has won the MUW G1 Climax two out of the three times that we've had the tournament. He is the only man to have won two of those tournaments. And here we go, Suzuki, Gabe Kidd, and already we're starting with a takedown. Here we go. Here comes Suzuki, oh, he's got a double boot in the head by Gabe. You know that Gabe going right after Suzuki. And here we go, the hoss fight begins. Stomping and shots here by Gabe Kid, counter by Suzuki, and here we go, back and forth. Devin saying that these two guys' chest is gonna be red after two minutes. Yeah, with how much these two wanna kill each other, we'll see. Gabe with a duck there. Gabe Kidd, gut shot, counter by Suzuki. Minoru Suzuki with a belly to belly. All right, who's the first out of the pause? Is it Taylor, is it Crichton, is it Styles, or is it Evil? It's Iron Taylor. Taylor's the first man out of the pause here. There's a counter there by Gabe Kidd on Suzuki. DDT by Taylor, but he's caught by Suzuki. Blaze is telling the referee that he will pay him if he makes Gabe Kidd lose. Blaze is so hell bent on embarrassing Gabe Kidd that he's willing to pay off the referees. Taylor misses the kick on Gabe Kidd. A miss there by Taylor, and a bulldog on Gabe Kidd. And here we go, we're back to Suzuki versus Gabe Kidd. We knew this was gonna happen again. Taylor breaks it up. Come on, Taylor, stop breaking up the fight. We wanna see Suzuki versus Gabe Kidd. All right, who's next out of the pods? Who's up next? It's evil. Oh, great, it's evil. Here's evil. A house of torture. Evil is pulling double duty tonight since him and his boys have to do a tag match later. Oh, wow. Wow, Taylor with a rake to the eyes? I was not expecting Iron Taylor to be doing a rake to the eyes, but uh, he ain't an elbow to the face for his trouble by Gabe Kidd. Suzuki goes after Taylor with a back suplex, and here we go. Gabe and Suzuki again. Blaze is throwing water at the referee. How can you throw water at the referee when you're not even in the match? All right, who's up next, Crichton or Styles? It 
is Corey Crichton and a head bunt by Gabe on Suzuki. So Styles is gonna be the last man out of the pods. Oh, this isn't good for Suzuki. Pile driver by Gabe Kidd. Is Suzuki gonna be eliminated? No, he won't. A kick out there by Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki thrown off the ropes by Gabe Kidd. Kidd lifts him up and a counter by Suzuki with a takedown. Minoru Suzuki, here's the pin. And Gabe kicks out. Oh, Suzuki, here's that combo. Minoru Suzuki, what shots. And now Suzuki's got the choke. Suzuki's got that choke on Gabe Kidd. He's got it locked in. Is Gabe going to give up? Gabe Kidd trying to escape. He can. He's trying to fight. And Gabe Kidd has passed out. Gabe Kidd has passed out to Minoru Suzuki. No, nope, Gabe Kidd's gone. He passed out to Suzuki. Now here's Styles. We're down to five since Gabe Kidd has passed out to Minoru Suzuki. So Suzuki wins the battle against Gabe Kidd here. And yes, you can bet your ass that I'm playing King of the World if Suzuki wins. Oh, Taylor hooking in Styles. Styles is in trouble. Pile driver. Styles is gone already. Iron Taylor has taken up Brandon Styles. Already, there goes Brandon. Wow, Taylor taking out Brandon already. What a shot by Taylor. But there goes Brandon. Brandon didn't last too long in that match. He's out of there already. So we're down to four now. Taylor, Crichton, Evil, and Suzuki. A pile driver takes out Brandon Styles. There goes Taylor, the referee. Corey Crichton, uh oh, evil, evil in trouble. Got style, pile driver by Minoru Suzuki. Suzuki to take out evil. No, evil kicks out. Evil still in the match. Evil kicks out. Of that, got style, pile driver by Minoru Suzuki. Counter by evil. And here comes Evil out of the ropes, my goodness. Counter from Crichton. Here's a cover by Evil to take out Suzuki, and Suzuki kicks out. And here comes Crichton versus Evil. It's takedown from Suzuki. Oh, Taylor doesn't want to be here. This is how Suzuki won the world championship when he won it. We got a choke hole. We got a choke here on Iron Taylor. Bulldog choke here by Suzuki. Taylor survives the choke. But is he going to be locked in a second choke is the question. No, he's not because he's thrown to the floor. Oh, Suzuki went for the, oh, come on. Rape to the eyes by evil. Everything is evil. Suzuki eliminated by Evil. God damn it. So we're down to Iron Taylor, Evil, and Corey Crichton. Who is going to win between these three men? Taylor, Crichton, or Evil? And I hope to God it's not Evil. Like, like Evil needs a friggin' contract anyway. Crichton is thrown back into the ring by Taylor. Taylor the cover to take out Crichton. And a kick out from Crichton. And as Evil just boots the Iron Taylor in the head. And Evil trying to maybe lock in the Dark Scorpion. No, he's not. Missed by Crichton. And a power bomb to Crichton by Evil. And you got Evil versus Taylor. Evil catches, uh, caught by Taylor. Taylor misses. 
Crichton score crushing finale on Taylor. Will this be enough to take out the Iron Taylor? No, not a kick out by Iron Taylor. Crichton, Crichton's, oh no, backbreaker from Evil. Evil tossing around Corey Crichton. Taylor from behind. The Iron Taylor has Evil, picks him up. Down goes. Oh, wait, super kicker missed by Crichton. He went for the super kick, but he missed. Mid clubbing blow there by Taylor. Evil thrown near the corner. Taylor punches him in the back. Oh, went for the super kick again was Crichton. He misses. Clubbing blow. Super kick miss. Crichton is just trying to hit the super kick, but he misses. He keeps missing. Nice shot by Taylor. Taylor trying to stay alive. Evil's in trouble. Evil in trouble. Pile driver. Wait a minute. What did Evil kick out already? What happened there? I don't know what happened there, but did Evil kick out already? There goes Crichton to the floor. Taylor could be going after Corey. He's calling him up, but Evil misses. Taylor got the leg drop. Evil, Crichton, and Taylor. Of course, they had to come down to these three. Big, big suplex from Corey Crichton. But I don't know how much Taylor has left. Super kick, no one's home. But Evil catches Taylor. Darkness falls. Darkness falls, but Taylor's back to his feet. In the corner is Crichton. Taylor firing off on the corner at Crichton. But Evil is stunned on the ropes. Taylor slamming Evil to the floor. Here comes Crichton. Oh, there's the super kick. There's the super kick on Taylor. Bye-bye, Taylor, as it's down just to Evil and Corey Crichton. We are down to Evil versus Corey Crichton. And a kick out from Crichton. So we're down to these two. Can Corey Crichton beat Evil? Or is Evil going to the... Uh-oh. Everything is evil. Oh, no. Everything is evil on Corey. But Corey kicks out. Evil almost stole it. With an everything is evil. But it's not enough for a win. Back to his feet, Evil. Crichton caught with a net breaker by Evil. Evil trying to back up to his feet here. And now Evil's got Crichton up in the air. Running power slam from the King of Darkness. Evil off the ropes. Big splash on Crichton. He's going for another one. Two of them on Crichton. Here's the pin by Evil. Evil for the win. And Crichton again is able to power out. Thank God. I don't want Evil to win. Counter with a kick by Crichton. Corey, cold breaker. He's got Evil with it to take Evil out of the match to win it. He does it. Corey Crichton wins, and he's going to get an opportunity at the contract in a case. Thank God Evil didn't win, so Corey Crichton's going on to the pay-per-view to fight for that contract. Good for Crichton. Good for him, man. Good for Corey Crichton. And as I say, though, Evil, that scared me a little. That scared me that Evil survived for that long. Corey says he's made himself the fans happy. Yes, he did. And now your main event of part number one. This is your main event for part one. We'll be back probably in 30 minutes or so after this part ends. I'd say 20 to 30 minutes because i got to eat a little. But here's your main event for part number one. Dr. Death Steve Williams defends his KOPW championship title against both Grim Dory and Chushin Thunder Liger. And then, of course, part two will happen. We'll have the last four of the qualifying matches. 
You'll have an eight-man tag, and you will have your main event of Joe Kenny versus Kenta Kobashi. But we have to find out here who's going to win the KOPW Championship. Kenny told Dr. S.D. Williams to do the best that you got. Yeah, do, do what you do best, exactly. Well, Kenny got to a tag team with the uh, Miracle Violence Connection, and not only that, they won that match that they tag teamed with. It was Dr. Death that even got the win, too. Gordy, of course, lost earlier tonight, but I mean, it really felt like that Gordy won the damn thing. Because what, Term what Terminus did, I'm still a little mad about what Terminus did. After a great performance that Terry Gordy had, you're gonna end the match with a low blow. Hell, I feel like I feel like just taking Terminus out of that contract match just because of that. Dr. Death puts Gor Grim Gore in the corner. Steve Williams has had this championship since he won it when he, in a triple threat match when he pinned Stan Hansen in a triple threat match. Winning the title from Christian Barton. And he's kept it since. Missed kick there by Liger. Nice X Factor by Grim Gorey. Now the reason why Liger and Gorey had this opportunity is simple. One, Grim Gorey took out Steve Williams in a battle royal. And two, Jushin Thunder Liger pinned Dr. Death Steve Williams as well in a tag team match. Look out here, Gory with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer shots by Grim Gory. Here's the cover by Gory to win the championship. No, and a kick out by the champion. Liger's fired up already, but here comes Grim Gory. Big sunset lip power bomb by Gory, but Dr. Death misses the baseball bat. And a nice springboard from Grim. Kick there by Grim Gory. Jush and Thunder Liger. Beautiful. Beautiful from Liger. Nice kick there by Dr. Death. Steve Williams. Beautiful. Beautiful deadbolt suplex by Steve Williams. Here's the cover to retain a kick out by Grim Gory. Down he goes. Now everyone but Grim Gorey's in the ring. Look out, suicide DDT by Gorey. Give it up for Grim Gorey. Yeah, give it up for Grim Gorey. He's having a great match right now. Liger with a good counter. Gorey lifted up in the air by Dr. Death. Steve Williams, though, got caught by Gorey, but again, you can't win a match on the floor. <laughs> Dr. Death puts Gorey in the corner. Look at this brainboard headbunt from Jush and Thunder Liger. Dr. Death back, drop, driver. And a breakup. Back drop driver, not enough. Liger was thinking Liger bomb, but he didn't get it. Steve Williams with clothesline. Dr. Death with a head stomp there on Gorey. Here's the cover, Steve Williams to retain his KOPW title. And a kick out from Gorey. Dr. Death with baseball bat. He has Gorey on the apron. Liger's also coming back in, stuttering the ropes. There's a kick there. Liger attacking the arm of Steve Williams. And uh-oh, Gorey's got a chair. 
Grim Gory with a steel chair. Twirls Weiger in the back with the chair. Kick to the head, but here's Williams. Went for the Hurricane Rana, but no one home. Weiger went for the drop, and he missed. Gory, oh no, he hit the chair. Gory hit the chair and he missed that dive. Off the ropes, Liger with a rolling kick. A beautiful kick from Jushin Thunder Liger and a break up there. Liger, oh, Tombstone, Tombstone. A Tombstone by Jushin Thunder Liger. Gory picks up Liger, Snake Eyes. Cover Grim Gory for the championship. Kick out. Now Grim going after the arm. Into the back of the leg of Jewish and Thunder Liger. Grim Gory in trouble. Picked up by Dr. Death. Steve Williams off the top turn, but he goes. But Liger from behind. Back suplex face buster into the cover. Liger for the win. And a breakup by Grim Gory. Gory keeps the championship alive. That breakup. Here's a cover from Grim. Kick out again by Liger. Big close line from Steve Williams. Steve Williams for the win to retain. And oh, Gory has to kick out. Because Liger would have been not there in time. What is this? What was that? Like a DT swing by Jushin Thunder Liger. Cover. Break up by Grim Gory. I don't even know what the hell you call that move. That was insane. Oh, Gory blocks Liger. Gory in the corner. Look out, though. Steve Williams. Body slam. Steve Williams, second row. But no, Liger says no, get down from there. It's Grim and Liger. Liger thrown in the corner. Grim with a chair. Grim Gory with a steel chair to Jush and Thunder Liger. I think Liger had a rough landing he, on his knee there. What are these chair shots? Oh, but the chair is not enough to stop Jush and Thunder Liger. Springboards, whoa! Grim, the kick, Grim Gory, going to the ropes here with Liger's arm, going for that springboard arm drag, and he gets him with it, springboard arm drag. Steve Williams, capture suplex, but Liger's right for the picking for Steve Williams, with that gun wrench into the power ball, he drills him. Will that be to retain the title? No, it will not be enough to retain the title. Liger survives, and Grim Gory's on the attack to Dr. Death. Gory the baseball bat, he hits Liger, oh, he might steal it. He may steal it. And he does steal it, Grim Gory. Hits Liger with the baseball bat after all the offense from Steve Williams on Jushin Thunder Liger. Grim Gory has just won the KOPW title. And he pins Liger off a baseball bat shot. Good for Grim Gory, he's your new KOPW championship holder. The question is, I wonder who's gonna challenge Grim Gory for that championship at the pay-per-view. We'll find out most likely Monday. But Grim Gory escapes tonight with the KOPW Championship with a frustrated Dr. Death Steve Williams. Considering that Dr. Death was not pinned, it was Liger that was pinned. But anyway, that will be the end of part number one. Uh, I'll be back in about 20 to 30 minutes with part number two. It's just I gotta get something to eat before the next part begins. But uh, we'll, be, we'll be back in 20 to 30 minutes with part number two. We'll see you, we'll see you for part two.